Welcome back, everybody. This is M Dog, and we are here at Bear 17 Clip 5531 right here. Uh, let's see, is this an okay fish? Yeah, this would be a good one. Uh, this has just been so exciting. Big props to um, to Skills, who is the one that told me, "Hey, I'm having a good fishing experience at Bear." Told me where he was fishing, what he was fishing with. And Skills doesn't have PVA either. Skills is using Spod with a strawberry mix. And uh, Skills is actually using Strawberry 20 pop-up with Crafts Flavor Strawberry Corn and Strawberry Dip. And he has still had really good fishing here. Really nice silver per hour. Has had a mirror and a grass carp trophy. So I have come, uh, have been fishing here for 44 minutes. Really nice bite rate. I started on the smaller boilies, but because I'm using PVA, like the bite rate was so intense. Uh, and yet a lot of the fish early on there on the smaller boilies were honestly just too small. Um, pretty much all markers, but a lot of those juvenile commons that aren't really worth it, especially if you're spending the, the silver on PVA. And so I switched it to, to Strawberry 20, and honestly, it has still been a great bite rate. Um, really decent fish. Uh, black carp came out, nice size. So if the black carp are here, that's going to increase the silver per hour and the XP per hour. Uh, I love when bear takes off like this. And really, part of why it's so fun is because I have been wasting away at amber. I've really felt like carp fishing. Uh, the last couple nights. When work has been calm enough to give me a little bit of time, I've tried to carp fish. In fact, I will tell you at Amber today, while we're sitting here waiting for this fish to come in, I did catch my first ever frame trophy. And then a little later, caught my second ever, ever frame trophy. So from the sound of it, you may be saying, well, why aren't you doing a video at Amber? Well, it's because besides the trophies, and a few other fish here and there, it was so painfully slow. And I just couldn't take it, it was just too slow. So coming back to this spot at Bear, uh, it's so refreshing. Cause this kind of reminds you of like, oh yeah, Amber, when it's really good, this is what Amber's like. Potential of catching really nice fish and decent bite rate and you're not stuck with just a bunch of small carp. And so, uh, it's possible we haven't found the right bait combinations at Amber. I feel like Amber still just needs to needs to continue to adjust. A little bit more migration, a little bit more bait change. Uh, we don't have to worry about Amber. Amber will be great again. But for me, at least right now, it's just not there yet. And I'm kind of tired. I've tried so many spots at Amber. What I ended up catching the frame carp on just again while we're sitting here chilling we should get a view of this fish here any moment to at least know what it is uh while i had what, what i caught the two frames on one was the king crab 18 pop-up with king with a uh, crab looks like it's gonna be a common it's gonna be a trophy common i wasn't sure if it was gonna be a trophy or not because i didn't know if it might have been a mirror but uh sure enough this is gonna let's just get a little like a uh, little homemade wine tipsy bonus going here um so at Amber, the trophy frames, the first uh, one of them was on King Crab 18 pop-up with crab uh, corn and crab dip. And then the second frame trophy, and, or the, the other one I call it, and the larger frame trophy, it was actually really large, uh, well over 30 kilos, 35. I have to look on my my um, my personal best because it was obviously my personal best since I've only caught two, but it was actually on black current. Oh, this is a black carp here. I was hoping in the morning we might see another black carp. It was actually on black current. No, not not black current. Sorry, mulberry twenty and mulberry corn with mulberry dip and. Uh, but again, like, uh, you know, if you, if you don't have a frame trophy like I didn't, 
then you can fish then you can go fish amber and, and you might be able to get one it seems like that's one of the things that is coming out somewhat are decent frames um and and before i get off that topic let me get this fish in and then i will tell you really quick the coordinates of where i caught those at, at, at amber it was two different spots both of them were 35 clip though uh, it's weird I'm still talking about amber even though bear is so much more exciting right now but this will give me something to look at and then I'll show you the setups here while we're hopefully waiting on another fish I won't make this a long video but um, okay so at amber the first and okay so the largest frame uh, frame carp was at 124.66 124.66 um, which is down there at what like G8 I think and that was 35 clip and that was the one that i caught on um on mulberry but again super slow bite rate the other spot where i caught the frame on um on king crab setup was at 132.47 again 35 clip and that's over, that's way up there at the top uh probably around g4 if i'm looking at this other map correctly um, so, you know, Amber's just too slow right now, but did get the frame trophy, so that was nice. All right, these three setups are going to be all the same. Now, this is the strawberry PVA I'm using. I had this strawberry PVA from the last time I fished strawberry stuff. Uh, I think if I make another one, I might try coming off the strawberry and spice and doing regular strawberry attractant. But basically, this is how I'll make it with some strawberry feed pellets, one type of strawberry boily crushed, whichever one and then either strawberry or strawberry and spice um, uh, attractant. And then again, we're using regular strawberry dip, strawberries flavor corn, and old strawberry 20 pop-up. Now that's with PVA. If you don't have PVA and it's too slow a bite rate, um, try to feed the water somehow, ground bait, spod, whatever you can, but you probably want to switch to the smaller strawberry 15 size pop-up boilies. Uh, but we are at 17 clip, and we're just kind of casting right over these weeds. Um, sort of to the right side of the 3.5 hole is what I would sort of estimate here. And um, man, is it great. Really good bite rate. And from what I hear from skills, even though obviously I haven't been an hour here yet, what I hear from skills is that he hasn't seen the slowdown hour to hour that you normally see at bear. So if you're used to fishing bear a lot, you know, some spots you get to an hour and all of a sudden it's just like dies on you. This spot may not do that as much. At least it hasn't for skills, it sounds like. Now, uh, using the 20 size boilies, using so much PVA like I am, I could still see it slowing down some. So I think I want to find a second spot, whether it's here at bear or maybe even at old Berg. I'm noticing, I guess that's one thing we could do real quick. Look at the weeklies on black carp because it's kind of interesting. Because the only thing I might want to try to do with this spot, uh, like even thinking about tomorrow when I get a chance to fish, is try to figure out, like, is there maybe a bait that targets the black carp even more than the strawberries are? Because, I mean, you know, some strawberries are, I mean, some of the black carp are coming out, but it's, for me, so far, it seems like a pretty low percentage, but we'll see. But if you look at this right now, Oldberg and Bear, combination of black carp, and they're all potatoes. So, obviously, it's early in the week. In fact, we're just 24 hours into this week, a little over. And it's pr it may just be that we haven't found the right baits, or it may be that, ba that potatoes ends up being the way to go. I haven't tried potatoes yet. My guess is that a lot of the black carp that have been caught today would be in this spot. I think, a lot, I think you know, the word is starting to get out that this spot's pretty decent. Oh, look, we're already on the USA. We've got two out of the top three. And that's on strawberry. So again, what would happen if I switched to potatoes right now? And, uh, you know, maybe just <sighs> potatoes and like actual black carp ground bait, uh, pe ground bait. I don't know. It, it might be worth trying. I, I, I just have to see how it feels. If sometimes the thing I don't like about potatoes is that, yes, occasionally you get really nice fish, but compared to boilies, you get a lot of small stuff, including, including like crucian gibbles or whatever. You know, it's just, um, yeah, so I don't know. I don't know. I definitely want to experiment with some other baits, though. We're so early in the week that I'm not convinced that strawberry is the absolute best thing to use. But then again, that's just if you're trying to target black carp. 
just as a general bait to have a really high bite rate, nice silver, whatever. Um, I can't imagine, you know, it's, it's hard to imagine something doing better than strawberry right now because this is fantastic. Uh, and everything's coming out. I say everything. Let's make sure I've seen mirror carp. Yeah, no mirror. Oh, yep, mirrors. Plenty of mirrors. What am I talking about? Tons of mirrors, two leather, one grass, a bunch of commons. Some of them juveniles, but some of the juveniles were also on the um, these older ones. Let's see, where did I switch? See, that was still Strawberry 15. When I first got here and put Strawberry 15 in, it was like the bites were so fast, it was hard to keep up. And yet at the same time, so many of them were small fish. I was like, oh, wait, hold on. There's a better way to do this. I, I know what this means. When the bite rate is this active, see, we're, we're still less than an hour. Let's just, let's just take a gander at what we're doing silver-wise. Now, if it, if it could even keep up with 75% of this performance in the second hour, it's worth it. And mostly, it's just so much more fun than Amber is to me right now little 17 clip we're just we're just throwing the boilies in and pulling the carp out but I, again i'm i'm not convinced it, that that the second hour could possibly hold up anywhere close to the first hour um but i haven't tried it myself so we'll see um i'll get a little bit more fishing in tonight but i'm uh, it's almost the end of my night mostly i've had to had to work tonight it's been pretty crazy but um Hopefully tomorrow I'll get a little bit more time to test things and uh, and see what this spot really is like. I guess what I kind of want to test next, if I have time, is um, is going to be potatoes maybe. Uh, I'm also tempted to try some of the other things that in, in the past black carp have, have come in on pretty decently like cocos and cream. Maybe try banana. I could see banana doing pretty reasonably well here. Um, bear doesn't always require, you don't really have to overthink bear. A lot of times if, you know, if strawberry's working, strawberry's working, or, or just a more simplistic flavor palette. Sometimes with amber, I feel like you have to tweak things more. At bear, it's like, it's just working, you know? Um, but normally it does die down at bear too. That's the downside. I mean, I can, when amber's really good, you can sit at a spot and just enjoy it for hours if you have the time. Uh, even if you see waves of carp coming in, you don't feel like after the first hour you just like suddenly lost the lost the spot all of a sudden. So anyway, thank you to Skills, and uh, again we're at fifty-five thirty-one seventeen clip. And and by the way, I mean this isn't a new spot. You know, I mean we have fished fifty-five thirty-three is actually the spot that I've fished more. But, you know, remember when Cocos and Cream were going crazy, I, I, I know I did videos about this spot, and even in the midst of that, you would rotate between 55.31 and 55.33. Um, and when you're doing 55.33, sometimes you would sort of cast to the left here, which, guess what? That's the exact same thing we're doing, except we're doing it from over here. Um, but it did feel like at times, if you kind of switch the spots, it would change things up a little bit, even though you're really fishing out of the same area but when the cocos and cream was going off this spot was so good you could cast anywhere you could cast farther right all the way to left and uh interesting you know a lot of good fish in fact my first black carp trophy ever i think was caught in that spot right next to where we are right now um and this is the largest black carp i had i had two trophies in one day and this is the larger one again when cocos and cream 20 were going nuts all right, here's the largest frame size. So I was wrong. It's 31, not 35. 31.4. And like I said, it was on Mulberry 20 and Mulberry Purple Corn. And that was today. That was today. And I don't know why or how the frame-sided trophy had been avoiding me for so long. But uh, it really had. And just like with the black carp, as soon as I caught one, even though I switched spots, all of a sudden I caught a second one. So uh, strange how that happens. It's like you unlock that trophy and then it's not quite as difficult. <laughs> or maybe today just the frames are a little more willing to come out at Amber. That's probably what it is. But it's nice to use up some strawberry PVA that I already had made up. I've been trying to do that more and more. Uh, instead of always creating a new PVA, if I've got something that looks reasonably good already, 
than just use it. Uh, back when I was using this strawberry P PVA, which was which has only been what ten days ago, twelve days ago, I was um, I think I was using it, it, the strawberry and spice attractant. Is that is that a thing? Let me see if that's a thing. I'm, I'm trying to remember. There there was ways in which we were sort of embracing the. Okay, maybe it's not a thing. Maybe I'm just thinking of strawberry and spice there. Maybe we were using the strawberry attractant. I, I'm not sure. Had something going on that kind of made sense with that strawberry and spice, but uh, but anyway, I, I think again, just as long as you're using strawberry here, this spot's gonna be really good. All right, let's see one more fish. It is kind of that middle of the day. I think if anything, this is the time of day after it gets past noon and you're getting into that early afternoon time. If you're gonna see a drop off, if you're gonna see some smaller carp, this is probably when it will be. But um, I think that fish is already on there. Yeah, it's just small. Um, but man, this spot has been fun. Good silver, good XP, and, and uh, it's just been really cool to, uh, to be able to fish this spot the last little while. So come try it out and uh, let me know if you, especially if you land on something that's getting a little more uh, black carp uh, frequency going. I, I think that's that's the only thing that I'm wondering about. If you can ever if you can ever up your your percentage of black carp in your net, the, the more you can do that, the nicer it is. Right now we've got two out of 43. When cocos and cream was going off, um, and those black carp trophies were coming out with with pretty you know decent regularity for folks, the percentage was higher than that. Um, so it may just be the spots a little different, or it may be that we need to adjust baits, PVA or something just slightly, but it could also be random. I mean, this is my first hour, right? And I mean, next hour, next time I'd sit here, it's probably where I'll spend happy hour tomorrow. If it's still decent, like it is now, um, you know, we might have six car black carp. You just never know. It's kind of like, um, it's, you know, it's got us, it, it, it varies from hour to hour. Even there's like that random number generator comes into play to some degree. All right. 5531 bear clip 17. Tight lines, everybody. I'll see you next time.